I think the language we choose in giving these directions is very important. So in the example you gave of the red or blue blocks, you know, that specificity draws the attention. Um, and you could do that in terms of giving a direction or you could offer the two choices, right? Um, but what I hear a lot is teachers, and this is like in our early childhood culture, where we say, we, we announce the cleanup, we go over to the area and we're like, it's time to clean up now, okay? I don't know what is going on with that okay at the end of the sentence. It is not helping us. That is not when we say give choices, it's not what we mean, right? But giving those two choices, like, do you want to clean up the red blocks or the blue blocks? Do you want to clean up the dinosaurs or the blocks? Um, and they might say, no, I'm going to clean up the cars and offer a third choice. Okay, fine. But if you want to give a choice, give two choices that work for you, not a yes, no, okay, um, which is just very passive and uh, working against yourself. The other way to do it, and I think this goes along with the what you were advocating, you know, you're giving that simple one step direction. Uh, and you can also do that. The, some wording that I find is really nice that works well with some children is let's clean up the blue box. Um, like doing that we or let's or it's time to. And then you can even refer to your classroom schedule. So instead of it being me bossing you and you might be reactive to that in a negative way. I'm just like, oh, it's time or we are doing this together. It, it changes the tone. And for children who are sensitive to that, you can avoid some power struggles. And I would invite everyone to just go, like, listen to themselves tomorrow and listen to your coworkers. Like, how are you giving those directions? And do you want to, you know, just as a first step before you even try to change it, just notice how many times in the day. Um, that you do that okay with the upswing or or give very, you know, complicated directions or maybe you have complicated multi-step expectations, but you just say, now it's time to clean up as opposed to, you know, now it's time to put the dinosaurs in the basket and then go get your jacket and meet me on the rug. Like, and you have to decide, can you give all three of those? Because you're maybe older preschoolers and it's, January and or February and they can handle it or do you need to give the first part of the cleaning up and then as you see them ready then you say okay go get your jacket and uh, meet me on the rug. Mm -hmm.